Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon. Welcome back for the last creator talk for today. I'm very happy that I'm joined by Marta Romakowski from a company that goes by the same name, Daniel Weckesser from Kramer and Rüdiger Voss from BASF. And we are going to talk about sustainable construction with PU sandwich panels. But Rüdiger, actually, we are going to talk about Connie, right? <laughs> Tell us who Connie is. Well, that's the name you brought in. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's our, our famous container that we uh, co-created um, with our customer, Romakowski, and uh, with our customer, customer, if you like, uh, Karma. Mm. That's actually what we're very proud of to present uh, today. Uh, and it combines a little bit the strengths of the three companies. BSF brought in the um, uh, material knowledge. Uh, Romakowski is well known for a quality leader in sandwich panels. And uh, Karma did great uh, craftsmanship in uh, designing the, the container. And this is something that you all can see here, right in the middle of our booth. That's the catering container, this beautiful co-creation between the three partners. Daniel, uh, tell me a little bit about how you came up with the idea and how the whole cooperation went until the final product was actually here. Yeah, actually, when uh, Christian of BASF mm -hmm. called me uh, asking to co-create this catering container, we absolutely loved the idea of doing that. And uh, followed by that, we got an invitation to the creation center of mm. BASF in, in Ludwigshafen. And we experienced this absolutely stunning variety of materials at the creation center. So it was a blast to do that. Yeah. Mm. And this is also, I think, you're, of course, cooperating in a normal business environment, but this was something special, right? Absolutely, yeah. Mm. And uh, it gave us so many ideas uh, how we could make modular construction even more sustainable mm. using the BASF materials, mm -hmm. as we did on this uh, catering container. Okay. And in order to do that, Marta, what type of panel needs to be inside such a container? Um, I brought a, like a, sa a sample of one of okay. our normal panels here. Mm -hmm. um, this is um, this is a panel usually of two uh, two sides of coated steel with a polyurethane um, uh, core mm -hmm. from BSF, of course. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, one of the panels that usually Kama buys mm -hmm. from us. And and what's the sustainability contribution of insulating not just containers but mainly houses uh, I guess with these PU sandwich panels. Yeah so one of the reasons uh, our customers why it's so popular in the building industry is uh, a it's light mm. um, like very um, very low weight uh, but on the other side uh, very high uh, insulating um, performance. Mm -hmm. Mainly because of the because of the foam of the pure foam that has a very low density, yeah, that's why mm -hmm. our customers value this. On the other hand, we have very um, good mechanical, um, uh, strong mechanical structure, and the fitting is just perfect, which makes it easy and fast uh, to install. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Rüdiger, how, um, how important is this sustainability aspect that, that Marta touched on for the construction industry in general? Well, I think it's a very vital point mm -hmm. um, because a lot of energy and um, emissions in the end uh, is uh, used to create a warm house or to cool, cool a building down. Yeah. So um, a good insulation is, is key to, to prevent uh, energy losses. And we are uh, with the polyurethane uh, system, uh, the top notch material, uh, which has the best insulation factor. And uh, uh, of course, you need a certain energy and create emissions to produce a sandwich panel with PU system. Mm. But uh, along the, um, the lifetime of the product, uh, a multiple of this energy is being saved uh, and, and emissions. Mm. And uh, if you calculate, for example, an average um, lifetime of a, of a sandwich panel and, and uh, put it at 50 years, which is 50 years. Uh, okay. probably a little bit conservative uh, mm -hmm. because uh, the, the, the earliest sandwich panels are still in the market, okay. they are older than 50 years. You can calculate a multiple of 100. That means uh, you save uh, 100 percent, uh, 100 uh, times uh, the energy and uh, the, the emissions that you put in to produce the panel. Mm. So I call that a very sustainable solution. I'd like to come back to the catering container uh, for a second. Is there any very specific uh, panel built in? I also see a, a blue colored panel over there where you are, Rüdiger. 
I mean, yeah, we, we uh, use this biomass panels okay. um, in the catering container. But actually, you know, for, for us, um, building the, the modular buildings is just a, a minor branch mm -hmm. um, for our company. Usually, or the bigger branch we have is building the cold stores. Okay. And we, we use, I don't know, thousands of square meters of mm -hmm. these panels each mm -hmm. year. Mm -hmm. So every, every um, innovation in this case really makes a huge difference for the whole building industry. Mm -hmm. um, and this is, this is, I think, the, the, the main factor uh, also for Roma, right? Mm. Yeah, definitely. So uh, most of our panels are used for cold storages or for industrial buildings, but there's a very big range of, um, of uh, different um, yeah, buildings they could use it for, for farming mm. houses, for um, office buildings, sports facilities. We even have panels on the Antarctica for um, okay. yeah, the science lab there. Ah, for the labs, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> for, for the research stations, okay. Yeah, exactly. With that material? With that material from B BASF and the coating you just mentioned, the, the blue ones, it's, mm -hmm. just, it's just a facing. You have a variety of different colors, of mm -hmm. structures, of mm -hmm. uh, coatings. Uh, mm -hmm. So, yeah, the main thing, it's always, set, set up is always the same. You mentioned, uh, you just briefly mentioned biomass balance, yeah, and there we of course are right in the middle of the overarching topic also this year at KFAIR, it's sustainability. Rüdiger, how much, how much demand, how much requirements and push are you getting from your customers for these more sustainable solutions? It's definitely starting mm -hmm. uh, to, to kick off. I mean, we, we offer the biomass balance uh, uh, based um, um, product and uh, the, the driving argument is um, that we can significantly reduce the product carbon footprint, mm -hmm. uh, the PCF value of our PU system by this. Uh, we can reduce it uh, if, if we um, offer a biomass balance solution uh, for 80 to even 100 percent, mm -hmm. and which is uh, quite, quite attractive to the market. And uh, it's, the demand is increasing uh, and, and uh, we, we have uh, first, uh, considerable sales, uh, mm -hmm. but uh, but uh, we are really at, at the beginning of of, uh, of a future development. And um, where do you see the the biggest challenges in order to scale that up? Is this uh, availability, or is this more on the demand side? What would you say? No, it's. Uh, I mean, there is um, a, a, a need for uh, lowering uh, product carbon footprint, and this uh, this need is now uh, being uh, demanded more and more in the market. Mm -hmm. So we can offer from from now on um, our biomass balanced uh, solutions. And um, uh, as I said, so the, the starts, the, the first sales are, are kicking in. It's quite attractive to reduce the product carbon footprint. That's a good sales argument that can be used by our customers as well. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we, we do feel that this is a really a trend that is uh, uh, catching, um, catching speed. Mm -hmm. um, apart from biomass balance, uh, uh, we offer as well um, products um, with uh, explicit um, recycled uh, content, content. Mm -hmm. uh, based on pet um, waste, for example. Okay. Uh, so we, we offer, offer both uh, solutions to our customers. Mm -hmm. Marta, how much, how much push are you getting from your customers to, for, for these solutions? Probably not for the research station in Antarctica, yeah? I, I would say. I would say it, uh, it depends on what customers you're asking. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. um, bigger industries, they are ask more. Uh, yeah, we, we, will, we will see where it goes to, but we, we also we think that this is going to be uh, this is going to be a future product that we're going to sell more and more, and we are also yeah very thankful for for BASF to mm -hmm. pushing this forward because this has to be like a technological yeah. um, push I think from from our suppliers. All right. So the, as the construction industry is also um, heavily depending on on local on regional regulations, is this also a different regional speed that you see? when it comes to the topic at sustainability? I would think so, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's different in different countries, mm -hmm. definitely. Um, but of course, it would help if it uh, gets a little bit cheaper to produce these panels and mm -hmm. to ultimately buy them. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's, it's no secret, I mm -hmm. guess. Uh, but it will, it will come more and more. I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure about that. Mm -hmm. there, are, there are companies like, I don't know, let's say Edeka or Rewe, for mm -hmm. example, mm -hmm. Um, who really care about sustainability and they will be forced at one point to take these materials mm -hmm. because there's just no other option. Mm -hmm. Let's um, talk about the, 
cooperation on the one hand, also this very specific cooperation, but also a little bit about the future, yeah, about the next step. Um, Rüdiger, in this special cooperation now for K22, for the container, what stood out for you? Was it speed? Was it the atmosphere in which you co-created? Well, in general, we, we, we love to do this co-creation projects because we want to bring uh, together the expertise from, from competent uh, partners. And what, what we normally, as I said, bring in is the material competence, mm -hmm. but we cannot uh, really solve um, the, the problems um, uh, or the challenges from our customers uh, mm -hmm. for our customers without our customers. So we need a very strong collaboration. And in this case, uh, this uh, turned out uh, to be a very dynamic, uh, very, very constructive uh, a project work and uh, mm. I mean just a couple of months ago where we were still sketching uh, on a piece of paper mm. how this uh, container might look like and now we have it here so it's really really fantastic to see that realized and this can only happen based on a strong partnership of trust and uh, mm. and uh, well everybody putting in their strengths. Marta, from what Rüdiger just said, I hear that normally these projects take a little longer than just a couple of months and a piece of paper. Uh, yeah, they usually do. I mean, uh, we meet uh, twice a year to discuss uh, technological um, innovations and also market demands. Mm -hmm. um, that's usually how we uh, develop new products and mm -hmm. it definitely doesn't happen in just a few weeks. Um, yeah. Biomass balance, for example, was something that uh, BSF pushed, but we also, we see demands in our clients. Mm -hmm. um, for example, especially for um, cold storage, uh, mm -hmm. also cold storage customers like, uh, like, like Krama, yeah. um, the key is um, um, thermal conductivity. Um, mm -hmm. It's the most important, one of the most important things yeah. in, in, the, in this product. Um, yeah, so we needed to improve that. Uh, we, uh, so BSF built a new product for us called uh, Elastopia Blue. Mm -hmm. with a 15% uh, improved uh, thermal conductivity mm -hmm. that we launched. And um, yeah, that's really important for us to also have them develop new products for so us. So you're also constantly looking for new solutions for very specific applications mm -hmm. and demands, right? Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's definitely something that, that we um, uh, worship a lot, uh, that in a trusted environment we can pitch new innovations and uh, and uh, really uh, in, in, a, in a coordinated and cooperated uh, way uh, mm -hmm. uh, m uh, merchandise for the first time our Elastopia Blue, for example, mm -hmm. that we specifically focused on optimizing uh, the, the installation properties. And uh, Marta, you mentioned it already, mm -hmm. uh, with Elastopia, we can offer 15 to 20 percent better installation properties for our materials. And uh, we pitched it first time with, with Romakowski. Yeah, you need those partners. On the plastic Absolutely. journey, you, you need partners. Nobody can solve yeah. it alone. And I would like to see all of you, all three of you, back here in 2025 at the next K show. And you have to tell me what we are then going to be talking about. <laughs> Start with you, Rüdiger. What will our topic in 2025 be? Well, uh, we will continue to talk about uh, improving our insulation properties and mm -hmm. sustainability is, is a topic that will definitely be still big time, big time in, in the room and uh, hopefully we, we are far more advanced by um, having market accept, uh, acceptance for sustainable products mm -hmm. and this is what we will be very happy to continue to, to develop together with our partners. Marta, for our next meeting? 2025. What's your suggestion? Yeah, I think we will uh, we'll talk about uh, sustainability uh, throughout the process. Maybe um, even cradle to cradle. It might be a little early okay. next year, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. uh, um, I think this, those are the challenges we are facing. Definitely. Mm -hmm. I put that on the list. Cradle to cradle mm -hmm. is a good suggestion, and we are going to talk about the fact that the container is in series production or something else. That would be nice. Yeah, <laughs> but I think uh, what she mentioned is, mm -hmm. is pretty important because. Um, as Grüdiger already mentioned, there are a lot of uh, buildings um, built by, by um, industrial panels that are 50 years or older mm -hmm. and some of them will get deconstructed, of course, mm -hmm. so recycling of mm -hmm. those panels will be a big and interesting topic, I mm -hmm. think. Perfect. So we have a plan for 2025. Mm -hmm. I wish you all the best mm -hmm. on the continued joint journey, not only the plastics mm -hmm. journey, the journey towards sustainability. Mm -hmm. That was our last talk for today. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you, Marta, Daniel, Rüdiger. BASF. We create chemistry.